I'm Stumpy Dubs, and this is a special project. I love history, so when I saw a historic candle lantern project in an old woodworking magazine, I absolutely had to include it in an issue of Stumpy Knob's Woodworking Journal. It looks great on a bookshelf or a tabletop, it only requires a few tools and a little bit of wood, and it's simple to make. So simple that I don't really need to narrate the step-by-steps in this video as I normally would. Instead, I contacted Mark Beckwith and Obadiah Thomas from Razzle Bamboom. They've spent years performing at schools around the country, teaching everything from history to science and more. And they graciously agreed to provide the music and narration for this historic project. While well, Mustache Mike and I got to just take a little time off. So sit back and enjoy the video, and afterwards you can find a drawing with all the critical dimensions for this project in the May 2016 issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal, which you can access for free in the archives at StumpyNubs.com. church tower as a signal of light. One if by land, two if by sea, I on the opposite shore will be ready to ride and spread the alarm to every little village and every little farm for the country folk to be up and on. And then he said good night and with muffled oar, silently rode to the Charleston show. Remember that famous day in year, the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Remember that famous day in year, the midnight ride of Paul Revere. On the opposite shore. Walked Paul Revere Now he gazed at the landscape far and near But mostly he watched with eager search The belfry tower of the old North Church And lo, as he looked to the belfry height A glimmer than a gleam of shimmering light He springs to the saddle The bridle he turns and pauses And lingers till fold on his sight a second lamp in the belfry burns, a shape in the moonlight, a bulk of the dark, and beneath on the pebbles in passing a spark. And yet, through the gloom of the pale moonlight, the fate of a nation was riding that night, and a spark struck out by the steed in flight, kindled the land into flame with Remember that famous day and year, the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Remember that famous day and year, the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Now one was safe, asleep in his bed, who to be the first to fall who that day would be lying dead pierced by a british musket ball you know the rest in the books you read how the british regulars fired and fled how the farmers gave them ball for ball from behind each fence and farmyard wall chasing the red coats down the lane then crossing the field to emerge again under the tree at the turn of the road owner to pause to fire and load So through the night when his cry of alarm To every little village and every little farm A cry of defiance, not of fear A voice in the darkness, a knock at the door And the word that shall let go forevermore In the hour of peril, in darkness, in need The people will waken and listen to hear The hurrying hoofbeats of that steed The midnight message of Paul Revere Remember that famous day 